everybody. Welcome back to My View on the View, where I make the views table relatable, relatable to our everyday lives, that is. So come on in, y'all. Let's get started. Come on. Well, a hearty shout out to everyone listening to the podcast all around the world. Thank you so much for joining me. Listen, I've been here talking about ABC's The View for several years. And unless something happens with YouTube and it goes away, I don't plan on going anywhere until this show goes somewhere. So again, welcome. So I just wanted to chat with you guys because today, today being July 12, 2021, for all my listeners who will listen in the future, um, today is the first day, y'all, that the women have been together since Megan made her announcement. Because remember, she made her announcement two weeks ago on a Thursday Friday was a rerun, so they weren't together on Friday. Then all of last week, actually it hasn't been fully two weeks, so I should correct that. But all of last week they were out you know, during their normally schedule. So guys, you know, this is going to be a big day because a lot has been leaked to the media since these women last worked together several days ago. Um, let's quickly run down for those listening, especially outside the country um, and maybe don't have access if you live in rural areas to the internet to know about a lot of these reports Well, we've learned many things, okay? We learned that uh, Megan was going to make her announcement from uh, Daily Mail, and she did. Uh, We learned a lot about that from the insider. We learned that she was not fired, nor was she pushed out. Um, She went to them and said she didn't want to go back to the studio. I'm sure there were other things that that, um, were a part of that, and we're going to talk about that in just a second. Um, But it was her decision to leave, and they wanted her to stay. They, quote, begged her to stay and they offered her another job to get her to stay. And she didn't want to do that. Okay, she decided I'm I'm, going to go ahead and leave. We also learned later after that release that allegedly after Megan and Joy's last fight that Anna, Whoopi and Joy went to Mrs. Kim and said, we don't want to work with her anymore. And um, a lot of people assume from that, that that means she was pushed out. No, all that means is they were sick of her. (laughs) And for some reason, they went to the boss. I don't know if it was a situation where after that virtual meeting, Mrs. Kim said, listen, I've got an open door policy. If you want to talk to me about what we've discussed today in this meeting, you're welcome to do that. I don't know if she gave an invitation to everyone to bring their uh, concerns to her. And this was just one of the concerns. But at any rate, we learned that happened. Now, I'm sure that someone told Megan that these women had gone, you know, and said this about her, you know, and of course, I'm sure, you know, we're all human that that would make anyone feel bad to know that these people truly don't like you. And we know that it's her fault that they don't like her. But in her mind, it's them. It's not her. But in life, you have people like that. It's never going to be them. And people like that, you really can't help. No matter what happens, I've learned when I used to interview people, y'all, those people can go to counseling because we used to pay for people to go to counseling. People who refuse to see themselves are impossible to help. It's literally impossible because in order to change and grow, we have to be willing to say, it's me. And because it's me, I'm willing to do the work. But when it's always someone else, You know, you you can't help people like that. You have to leave them to their own devices, so to speak. Okay, so as I was saying, I'm sure that that influenced her decision to go ahead and leave. But she wasn't pushed out, nor was she fired. Now, we also have since learned that from that person, that insider, that the view is courting Debbie. We talked about that. We also learned that someone else is going to be leaving. We talked about last week on one of the podcasts what Wendy Williams said on her show. And I play for you guys who don't watch Wendy what she said. And we all surmised that. I said to you guys, I don't think Wendy was telling, you know, the truth. I think Wendy was just having one of those drug kind of days, you know. And a lot of people don't like to hear that, especially if they've ever struggled with drugs. But, you know, I have to tell you truly what I think about things. Uh, It's my view on the view, right? And so I felt like she was just talking, you know, because she was having one of those days. Um, But if it turns out she was right, she was right. You know, maybe she did have inside information as some people surmise that she had. So we've also now learned, guys, that they're going to have to fill another seat. We just don't know when. We don't know when whoever this individual is. I told you guys, I think it's either going to be Sarah or Sonny. Um... We're going to find out. I doubt if we'll find out this month or we might, right? Whoever it is can make their announcement before the women go on their hiatus over the next 15 days. So we will be on the lookout for that. 
But now let's transition to that. Now that we've run down everything we've learned since the women have last worked together, a lot of people are talking about on Twitter and Instagram, what's going to happen? You know, is there going to be an explosion today? Because you guys know how it is. You know, all these reports have been circulating. Megan has addressed it on her Twitter account where she said, you know, people have been calling her, you know, trying to get her to give a statement about all the, she called it gossip. Well, it's not really gossip if it's true. You get what I'm saying? If if you really, if they really went to the boss and said, we, we're done with her, that's not gossip. That's true. Now, you may not like that people told it, but that's not gossip. Um, a lot of people are just trying to say, a lot of people are thinking, guys, that we're going to see a whole lot of fights over the next 15 days. Now, they don't have calendar days, uh, 15 calendar days, but we're talking about 15 working days uh, from today until they end this season, season 24. I will tell you guys something. I don't agree with these people. I really believe that we're going to see these women make a concerted effort to show the world that all is well. That's what I think we're going to see. Now, that doesn't mean I'm right. Uh, so it's just my opinion. But I don't expect any fights. I don't ex- Now, will there be shade from Joy? Of course, because Joy has a hard time keeping it, keeping her bottom and top lip together, right? We know that because Joy's told us that herself. So that's not a dig at her. I'm just repeating what she said, you know? And we all love Joy because at her age, she can say whatever and she didn't care. And most older people who are, you know, who live long enough uh, and persevere long enough to reach the milestone of almost 80 years old, I feel like they have, you know, hey, go go for it, right? You've earned the right. Um, but anyway, so if anything, I think we'll see shade from Joy, but... I don't expect any ruckus, guys. Most times when women leave the show, whether it's under duress or they were fired or they just simply decided to move on like Paula Ferris did and others, normally I've seen them try to make a concerted effort to keep it cool, to keep it you know, looking real good on the, on the surface. Now, we all know underneath the, the surface is not all good, but they're not going to let us see that. That's exactly what I'm expecting the next 15 days. Will there be more reports? Yes especially when they go on their hiatus in August. Because as I said to you guys before, at the end of this month, Megan will be off the books and then people will fully and truly be free to speak their mind and share their experiences with her. So leave us in the comments. What do you expect as a viewer to happen over the next 15 days? Um, Do you feel like that you're going to see fighting? Do you feel like the women are going to have a difficult time, uh, you know, showing solidarity? Um, Or do you feel like that, you know, They're going to be able to, you know, take it on home the the last few days and really try to show us that, hey, we are grown and we can handle this and we can still work together, even though we don't all like each other. So, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I can't wait for the show to come on today. Leave your thoughts about what you expect to happen the next 15 days uh, below, and I'll talk to you on the next podcast. If you don't.